Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. I am Mental Fox, and I thank you for joining me. We're getting ready to start book four here. It's been several months since uh, we played book three, and if you follow this game at all, you know that there has been some uh, major changes to the engine that runs the game. They've uh, moved to this engine called Unity 5. It's supposed to make everything look better. Uh, we'll be the judge of that. But this is uh, certainly very nice looking here with the sun shining through the window. Now it's looking kind of like spring, maybe? Um, last time at the starting of book three... I actually don't remember what this looked like at the starting of book three. I don't know. But we've got a cute little picture of Saga and another picture of Saga older, Saga's parents, and these little shoes here. A uh, quick recap, at the end of book three... Um, Zoe had traveled to Mercuria, and she did a little bit of exploring, a little bit of sightseeing, but, um, and she wanted to meet with the uh, Resistance, but when she did, she was captured and, uh, brought to their, uh, stronghold, I forget what they call the place, and, uh, last we saw, she was being interrogated in a room. Um, Keon, the last we saw of him, he was rushing off to save Bip. Bip had been captured, and Keon felt it was best to go save Bip since Bip was so helpful uh, to Keon in so many different ways. Helpful to the Resistance, actually. Uh, right at the last moment, as uh, Keon was uh, making his way to the ship that was going to take him to, I guess it's an island where Bip is, Liko showed up. And uh, we had a choice to uh, whether whether to grab Liko's hand and take him with us and accept his help or to leave him behind. And we decided to take him with us. And apparently that's going to have some consequences here in uh, either this book or the next one. I can't remember which. Uh, another pretty important thing happened. Um, General, General Hami knows that Commander Vamon lied to him about Keon. He knows it now. And now, Commander Vamon knows knows that. And he told Sister Saya about that. So, uh, they're planning on really, they're planning on assassinating General Hami at some kind of some kind of gathering is supposed to happen in a week's time or so. So, their plan is to assassinate him. That is what I remember from Book 3. That is my little recap. I am very excited to get back into this game. I absolutely love this game and this world, but you already know that if you've if you've already watched the first three books, my first three playthroughs of the first three books. So um, let's not waste any more time, and uh, let's get started on uh, Dreamfall Chapters Book 4. Ooh, the consequences of your actions are about to be revealed. Oh good, this is a recap of some of the choices you have previously made that will have an impact on the story ahead. Excellent. Okay, this is Zoe. When I awoke from my coma, I chose to start down a new path and find a job unrelated to my studies. Until recently, I've been working for Mira at the Pandemonium. I was hoping to learn more about neuroprogramming that didn't pan out. The choice you made in story time has had a major impact on your story. Your future will continue to be affected by this path. You can always return to the beginning to make a different choice and experience a different storyline. Reza and I are still together. It's been rough, and I don't know if we'll last, but at least we're trying. At least we have each other. Your relationship with Reza will shape your life now and forever. I handed the data proving Uminska's, proving Uminska's in Wadi Corp's pockets to Baruti, and he was murdered. But he left the data for me to find, and now I need to get it out there. I don't want his death to be without meaning. Your actions continue to affect the story. I've made the decision to remember everything. I'm trying to piece together the events that led me to this place. It's been difficult, but I'm not giving up. 
I will remember what happened to me. Regardless of your choice, your path will soon lead you to an important revelation. <laughs> I flirted with my therapist, Dr. Roman Zelenka. I never acted on it, but I might have given the opportunity. Your actions will play a part in an upcoming chapter. On that day in July, long ago, <laughs> I bought Reza cheese soup for lunch. Even the tiniest of decisions can have long-lasting repercussions. The man who broke into my apartment was shot and probably killed because of what I did. I didn't know who he was or how my actions would affect him, but he was there to help me, and I still feel guilty about it. Falk Friedman lived or died based on your actions and his fate will have further repercussions. Oh my gosh, that guy died? Did he die? This is Keon. While escaping Friar's Keep, I spared the Warden's life. I could have easily killed him, but what purpose would that have served? Revenge is a hollow victory. Your choice continues to have repercussions. I chose to keep Na'ani's secret. She remains free, and the others don't know she betrayed them. They trust her, and she's done much to deserve that trust. Na'ani's fate will play an important role in the days to come. In order to learn about the raid on Old Town, I detained and tortured an Azadi officer. Inu and Shepard disapproved, but I earned Liko's respect and trust. The resistance pulled out of Old Town before the raid took place. Your decision affected the rebel movement as well as your relationship with Inu, Liku, Shepard, and the others in the resistance. After interrogating the officer, I ended his life. Perhaps he could have been useful to us, but he was a sexual predator and a criminal. I couldn't let him live. I gained Liko's respect while losing Inu's she hasn't accompanied me on a mission since. Your choice to kill or spare the Azadi officer has deeply affected your relationship with Liko and Inu. I revealed some things about myself and my life that I hadn't told anyone else in the Resistance. I'm usually a private person, but it's an important part of who I am and I saw no reason to hide that. Your friends and allies have a better understanding of who you are. I returned the pipe worker's tool after using it to open one of the tubes. Your actions will have consequences for Ulvik and the Resistance. I brought Liko with me on the cloud ship to Gien despite Shepard's wishes. I hope I made the right decision. Your decision to bring Liko or leave him behind will have serious ramifications in this episode. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, there's Crow. Zoe? Hmm. It's looking for Zoe. Zoe? <laughs> oh, those are those things that put him to sleep. Zoe? I don't think she's there, dude. Oh, wow. Boy, they really decided to show off their new engine right here at the start. Everything looks so much brighter. Oh, poor Crow. He can't find Zoe.
We don't get to play as Crow, do we? <laughs> shoo, bird. Oh, shoo yourself, you big hairy lug. What in Charles' name? <laughs> I know you. You arrived with that Stark girl yesterday. You're her bird. Her bird. <laughs> I am my own bird, I'll have you know. Her bird. Psst. The nervous on people. Besides, I lost her. She done gone vanished on me. I am, it seems, an expert at misplacing beautiful young women. She's not misplaced. She's with... The Resistance. The Resistance. So she did find the rebels. And she didn't think to tell me. Well, some friend she turned out to be. Well, to be fair to the girl, it wasn't entirely... Uh, uh, voluntary. What do you mean? They kidnapped her. Crow to the rescue! Uh, so, where exactly did they kidnap her to? I'm not supposed to... Well, I reckon the chances of you being an Azadi spy are <laughs> rather remote. <laughs> and that poor girl could probably use a friend. Do you know the old Sentinel Library outside the city? It's in ruins now, but beneath it, in the Enclave, you'll find your girl. Unless they took her egg, in which case... Hold on, Zoe! Hold on to your head! I'm on my way! Crow to the rescue. He's rescued her before. He rescued, your, rescued her in, um... Gosh. I don't remember if he was in Dreamfall or in uh, The Longest Journey, to tell you the truth. Is this where she is? I trust you got some sleep last night. I would have, if you guys believed in bedsheets and pillows. You are fortunate to be alive, girl. Who are you? Why do you ask questions about the Resistance? Hmm. Here are our choices. I'll keep it simple. Keep it simple. Or maybe it's better to mention the Rebels. Hmm. On the other hand, asking for the rebels is what got me into trouble in the first place. Deny everything? Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. Just ask for help. I'm Zoe. I need your help. Our help? With what? I didn't know who else to ask. I need to get to the Purple Mountains. I don't know where that is. What about the Ular? I'm sorry. Of Naxus? Of the Venar? I have heard of the Vena, but they left the Northlands. And of Nexus, maybe a whisper, long ago, nothing more. I cannot help you. Oh, damn. Is there anyone here who would know? Perhaps. But you haven't answered my question, girl. Why should we help you? For all I know, you're an agent of the Azadi. No, I'm... Zoe! She's <laughs> Zoe! <laughs> Don't you dare touch her head. She's on an important mission. I see. And who are you? Crow, honorary rebel, long-term avian buddy, and occasional sidekick of April Ryan, rebel leader, adventurer, hero, savior of the balance. That's right. Here's Crow. This is him. <laughs> I'm me. So, where's April? Oh, he doesn't she know. She can vouch for Zoe. They're best friends, tied as two chicks in a nest. I don't see April. Is she out on a mission or sleeping in or? Why are you both looking at me like that? I... I thought you knew. Knew what? What's going on? What? April Ryan is dead, Bird. She was assassinated during an Azadi raid on Miria the winter before last. She died a hero's death and was given a hero's burial. We remember her fondly. What? I'm so, so sorry. Crow! Crow! Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I've heard of this bird. Crow. So, you knew April Ryan? We met a couple of times. I... I was there when she died. I found her. I tried to save her, but 
I couldn't. So, yeah, I guess I knew April. Eo, the Stark girl. The one who dreams. They spoke of you. Bakim, Bryn, Chawan. They said you were one of us. Oh, this certainly changes things. But how did you... He's gone. Of course he's gone. I should have seen that coming. It's not like he could just let Kian go without... Oh, he's such a... Oh. Oh. Hey. Your hair. It's so pretty. <laughs> Thanks. Who's gone, Enu? What? Oh, oh, Liko. He vanished in the middle of the night, chasing Kian, of course. Idiots, the both of them. Maybe this is for the best. If Liko can help Kian... Kian? Big Azadi guy. People call him the Apostle. You know him? We met once, briefly. He was kind to me. But isn't he the enemy? Was. He's with us now. Defected. Uh, yep. Well, except that he abandoned us again to go on a crazy suicide mission. He left last night. <sighs> of course. After everything that's happened, we just miss each other. Uh, oh, Enu. This is... Zoe, am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Enu. You're so pretty. Uh, I came out. <laughs> Wanna be friends? Oh, sorry. Zoe needs our help. She has questions. Maybe you of can... Of course. No problem. Leave this to me, Shepard. I'm sorry for questioning you, Zoe. And I'm sorry I could not be of any assistance. Please, stay. Speak with Enu and the others. Perhaps someone here has the answers you're looking for. Thank you, Shepard. Where are you from? Your clothes are amazing. Where did you get them? <laughs> they came with the jump. I'm from Stark. That's... Across the divide. On the flip side of the balance. The world of science. Are you serious? That's incredible. I have so many questions. I don't even know where to start. I... I'm... I am seriously worried my head might explode. I think I need to sit down. Oh, don't explode. I'm not that special. I mean, you're orange, and the ears... Ugh, I'm just a boring old zid. It's totally normal. Holy crap, Stark. I can't believe it. How did you get here? Are you a... are you a shifter? A dreamer. I just dream myself here. Just dream yourself here. That's it. No biggie. You are the best thing I have ever seen. Seriously. <laughs> really? Okay. Thank you. So, what do you need help with? Shepard said, I'm trying to find the Purple Mountains, and a tribe of magical creatures called the Ula, someone, a Banar named Abnaxus, told me oh, to- Whoa, oh, oh, slow down. Okay. Purple Mountains, Ular, Banar, Abnaxus, right? Nope. None of that sounds remotely familiar. I have never heard any of those words before. Of course, there are a lot of things I don't know. I'm a- I mean, I was a farm girl. A silly zibling. There's so much I don't know. But- I do know where to look for answers. Oh? Where? The library. The library holds all the answers. Do you have libraries in Stark? Never mind, silly question. Of course you don't. <laughs> I'll go to our library right now and start looking. Purple Mountains, Ular, Abnaxus of the Venar. Come find me when you're ready. I can't wait to spend more time with you. Oh, sorry. All right, that was adorable. I just watched that whole thing with a big smile on my face. That was so cute. <laughs> um, I think that Zoe looks very, very different. I thought Inu looked the same. Uh, Shepard looked a little bit different, but not that different. But Zoe, I don't know. I just feel like she looks very, just very different. Her eyes are different. Her face is like a different shape. I mean, part of it might be the way she's wearing her hair, but I don't know. She just looks so different in her eyes just kind of I don't want to say they look dead but they kind of do they they don't really like look like they focus just kind of I don't know a little a little disappointing because I, I kind of liked the way she looked in um, the previous books with the old engine but uh, I don't know maybe I just need to get used to her so we have some goals updated you can see in the lower right hand corner of the screen find crow and talk to him okay we need to find crow indeed we do uh, in the meantime, we're going to look around this place because, wow, what is going on? And speaking of what's going on, what about this, like, uh, lens flare, this permanent lens flare right in front of her here? <laughs> uh, looks like they're having a little bit of fun with the engine. Um, my controls are mapped incorrectly. 
that happens, unfortunately. So now I have to uh, remap them. Ooh, okay. 